2-1 for Real Madrid against Celta de Vigo at the Bernabeu, the debut in the Liga here at home in a game that turned out to be a lot more complicated than we expected, definitely before the game and maybe after the first 10 or 15 minutes. After that, Celta was able to put those uh, high pressures, uh, high lines of pressure up there and uh, that definitely deactivated our creation in the midfield. I think they played really well, they kind of... Uh, kind of cancelled our whole uh, creative game. We didn't see a very good first half, it was pretty boring. Pretty much uh, the two teams doing uh, Real Madrid trying to do what they wanted to do, but we couldn't. Celta getting more and more comfortable with the minutes. After the break, I was expecting to see some substitutions uh, after 45 minutes. We didn't, but the substitutions come in early. I think the second half was a lot more intense. We, we saw from Real Madrid that intensity that lacked in the first half. And when we showed that we could pressure you know, the ball right there, then and uh, we were getting it a lot faster, that we were creating more chances. It is true that Celta had their chances as well. Um, nothing very clear. We didn't have that many clear chances either. But uh, Morata finally, finally Morata scored a goal. Uh, he missed a couple too, but that one he had, he just put it in. When, it's, when it looked like we were gonna win one nil, uh, they tied that game with a great goal by Orellana. I think the defense was not expecting that. And after that, again, we were thinking, oh, maybe 1-1. It's way too early to lose points in the league. But yeah, there was Tony Cross in a great pressure play by James, uh, who kind of got that ball back to Lucas Vasquez, up to Tony Cross. A beautiful finish, world class. I think tonight Tony Cross was the best player on the pitch. We didn't see a very good Marcelo. We didn't see a very good Sergio Ramos. Again, okay, Baran. But Carvajal was good, was good, but more on defense than in offense. And then the midfield, I like Casemiro. He had a lot of trouble in the first half. Modric kind of uh, got on uh, in the game. And then uh, Kroos played a beautiful game. Up top, I expected a lot more from Gareth Bale tonight. He seemed kind of off. He uh, had a lot of courage, had a lot of uh, impetu that we say here in Spanish, but not, uh, not really accuracy as uh, what we were needing for him. Morata, ah, uh, Morata to me is a love-hate relationship. Morata has things that are really good, but the things that are he's not good at, he's... Hola, <laughs> buddy! But the things he's not good at, he's definitely not good at. And you can see that. I think uh, the Bernabeu was losing a little bit of patience with him. I was very happy to see Mariano come in. I think that was a very brave uh, substitution by Zidane. All in all, you know, we have started suffering early in the league. But three points are three points. You know, it's the same in the end for the league. It's the same to win 6-0 than 2-1. It was 2-1 in the end. I thought it was going to be 6-0. It wasn't. So after these two games, we have a FIFA break. Our players are going around the world. They're coming back for a game against Osasuna here on Saturday, the 10th of September. And uh, well, you know, let me know if you agree with my observations. I hope you do. And if you don't, let me know why. Give us a like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow.